Good afternoon, everybody. You sound a little low today. Is everybody fired up, ready to go today? All right. Welcome again to the 137th Annual St. Jerome's Fancy Farm Picnic in Graves County, one of the six beautiful counties I get to represent as state senator from the 1st District. As a host senator from this district, let me say thank you for coming today. I know you traveled far and wide across county lines, some across state lines to be here today. And we genuinely thank you for coming to Fancy Farm today and spending your Saturday afternoon with us. <clears throat> you know, I want to say also to the, those that played a part in putting this on today, the uh, Fancy Farm Committee, Mark Wilson, and Stephen, and others that played such a big part in putting this Fancy Farm picnic on today. This just doesn't happen by itself. Let's give them another round of applause, please. You know what a difference a year makes. Just imagine, this time last year, we had not elected Donald J. Trump as our president. James, <laughs> James Conwer, our congressman. The Kentucky House now has 64 members in it. With a total of two to one majority. So, and then they have elected the first Speaker of the House in over 95 years in Jeff Hoover. You know, the Kentucky House is now Republican controlled and making huge gains moving Kentucky forward into the 21st century by passing gen uh, generational change legislation in the 2017 session and preparing themselves to have their fingerprints on the Kentucky 2018 budget for the first time in over almost 100 years. Now, folks, you're going to hear some good speeches today. And most of those speeches, by looking at the podium today, are going to come from your right side of the podium today. As Mark said, this is a little bit different fancy farm. It's a non-election year fancy farm. And the Fancy Farm staff was having a lot of trouble kind of planning and organizing this today because they didn't know what the numbers were going to be. They knew the Republicans were turning out large today, but they didn't know who all was coming from the Democratic side. And so we kind of ran out of room early on and didn't know where to put our speakers from the Democratic side at. And then some one of the organizers said, hey, there's a vacant phone booth downtown. We can have plenty of room for them, have snacks, and have plenty of room to stretch out. And then they got concerned and said, well, the, the picnic will start, and how will they get back? They said, well, let's see. I've got a two-seater bicycle at home. They can use it whenever they get ready and ride themselves back up here. <laughs> I'm just kidding my Democratic friends, and they know that. We, I appreciate them and their years of service to the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And we have a lot of things to work through together. As Governor Bevin has mentioned, the pension reform and tax reform are probably coming this year in, in a special session. And some folks have taken a, a kind of a, a hit saying that, well, we shouldn't have a special session. Look what it cost us. You know, if you're sitting there with an emergency room visit in need, you don't worry about paying for the gas money to get to the emergency room, folks. The solvency of our pension system is in jeopardy. Obviously, it's not where we would like for it to be at. We want it to be 100% solvent. That's going to take a lot of work on both sides of the aisle, Republican and Democrats. So to ensure that our retirees and state workers have their retirements, I assure you, your Kentucky Senate is committed to honoring and saving our state pension plans. Republicans and Democrats alike, we have philosophical differences. But be sure that what makes us great is capitalizing on our common ground and strategies and strengths. Because after all, folks, we are Kentuckians first. Have a great day. Have a great fancy farm. Enjoy yourselves. God bless America and God bless the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Thank you very much, Mr. Yeah.